so now let's uh, talk about the duplex codings okay um it looks uh, something like in this fashion this is our substrate material there is a, some shot of intermediate layer and uh, above that we have our coating so let's study in detail so in this case we said uh, we combine different materials so we combine sorry we combine different materials so we mentioned good combination is made by preliminary nitride treatment then we produce a hard layer relatively thick so it is able to locate the maximum shear stress in the component which provides a significant hardening effect in the substrate where this maximum stress is probably located and uh, then we apply external PVD layer to exploit the maximum wear resistance so as shown in this figure of the duplex treatment we have two materials in our coating the preliminary treatment and external layering so we can exploit the higher load bearing capacity and we increase the wear resistance through external layer unfortunately simple nitrated layer is not so resistant to the wear simple nitrated layer is not so resistant to wear so we can use a different approach we can deposit a second layer between the substrate and the external coating which is this one second layer <coughs> So using the previous concept, we can deposit an intermediate metallic layer which is more ductile than the external coating and more harder than the base material. So we have again the gradual variation in hardness moving from substrate to the top layer. So this is our substrate. For example, we can deposit our intermediate layer by electro deposition. We have hard electroplated layers easily deposited even in a higher thickness compared to PVD or CVD layers and the end of this layer we can apply PVD coatings but this approach that is electro plated layer plus PVD layer is also highly effective in many application where high corrosion resistance is required so applications such as high corrosion resistance high corrosion resistance is required we 
because the materials nitrites carbides oxides have high resistance to corrosion we have no risk of corrosion at the top layer but uh, we are not sure that these coatings are protected towards the base material even if we have a minimum residual porosity the external environment can permeate through this thin layer and can attack this underlying material the coating itself is totally resistant but the base material is corroded then in this situation an intermediate metallic layer with intrinsic high corrosion resistance and protective action against the substrate can be useful intermediate layer because so we exploit the higher wear resistance of top ceramic um, PBD layer and we ensure sufficient corrosion resistance of the base material due to the intermediate electroplated layer so this is a common approach typically in jewelry so in order to preserve the high brightness of our object we need an intermediate layer of high corrosion resistance